Hamas' actions do not lessen Israel's responsibility to protect innocent people in Gaza. Israel exercises its right and indeed its responsibility to protect its people from acts of terror. It must do so in a way that is consistent with the laws of war. And I want to be clear, the United States does not want to see firefights in any hospitals when innocent people, helpless people, sick people are trying to get medical care. Over the past month, the world has watched with understandable frustration and increasing concern as this council has been unable to speak out on this pressing matter of international peace and security. At the top, I want to say that I'm horrified that a few members of this council still cannot bring themselves to condemn the barbaric terrorist attack that Hamas carried out against Israel on October 7th. What are they afraid of? What is stopping them from unequivocally condemning the actions of a terrorist organization that is determined to kill Jews? and that gunned down civilians, burned families alive, and executed children. A group that killed and took hostages, including children from over a dozen countries, including the United States. There's no excuse for failing to condemn these acts of terror. Hamas set this conflict in motion. Because Hamas only cares about the death and destruction of the Israeli people. They do not care one whit about the safety and the protection of the Palestinian people. If they did, they wouldn't use civilian infrastructure, residential buildings, schools, mosques, and hospitals to store weapons and operate command and control nodes. They wouldn't use innocent, vulnerable people as human shields. The Council repeatedly has made clear that we stand against all acts of terror. This horrific attack must be no exception. And the United States will continue to urge this Council to condemn Hamas's actions. This is a humanitarian imperative. We have also advocated for humanitarian pauses to allow for full, rapid, safe, and unhindered humanitarian access to civilians in Gaza. Hamas's actions do not lessen Israel's responsibility to protect innocent people in Gaza. At the end of the day, this all comes down to one clear, urgent goal, to save innocent lives. The toll this conflict has taken on civilians is tragic. The loss of every single innocent life is devastating. And we grieve for all those who've been killed, Israelis and Palestinians, men, women, children, and elderly people. People of all nationalities and faiths. All civilians should be protected. That means Hamas must stop using people, including hospital staff and patients, as human shields. These are acts of unthinkable cruelty and cowardice. That also means that as Israel exercises its right and indeed its responsibility to protect its people from acts of terror, it must do so in a way that is consistent with the laws of war. And I want to be clear, the United States does not want to see firefights in any hospitals when Innocent people, helpless people, sick people are trying to get medical care. We all need to support the heroic efforts of the UN and other humanitarian workers in Gaza. And we all need to work with partners in the region to secure the release of all hostages and prevent this conflict from spreading.